Hello MotoGP enthusiasts, welcome back to ZNGP today. With the MotoGP season just around the corner, Carmelo Espeleta, CEO of Dorna Sports, shares insights on the upcoming campaign and updates on circuit developments. From discussions on the Kazakhstan and Hungary circuits to reflections on regulatory changes and the introduction of sprint races, Espeleta provides a comprehensive overview of the sports landscape. Let's delve into Espeleta's interview with Mundo Deportivo and explore the key points he addressed. In a surprising turn of events, Marc Marquez, despite his high-profile switch to Ducati, isn't the standout performer on the GP23. Instead, another rider has caught the eye with remarkable ease on the updated machine. Let's delve into the details of this revelation. As the MotoGP season approaches, a foreboding aura surrounds the Ducati camp, sending ripples of concern through the paddock. Let's delve into the details of this ominous warning and assess if anyone stands a chance against the mighty Ducatis this year. As the 2024 MotoGP season approaches, Yamaha's team director, Massimo Marigali, offers a candid assessment of their preseason progress. Despite hopes for improvement, Yamaha finds themselves grappling with unexpected challenges as they prepare to take on their dominant rivals. Let's delve into the details of Yamaha's candid reflections. Before we continue, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell icon. As Paleta addresses the status of the Sokol circuit in Kazakhstan, assuring that discussions are ongoing and significant progress has been made. While some facilities are still pending completion, the organization is actively involved, indicating positive strides towards hosting a Grand Prix event. Regarding the reserve circuit in Hungary, as Paleta clarifies that it is not currently under consideration due to insufficient infrastructure for MotoGP approval. Despite initial discussions, the focus remains on the existing calendar of 20 Grand Prix events. As Paleta discusses the challenges of negotiating concessions among manufacturers, highlighting the need for compromise to ensure the championship's success. He also touches upon future regulatory changes proposed by the MSMA, including restrictions on aerodynamics and engine displacement. Reflecting on the introduction of sprint races, as Paleta acknowledges the format's success in enhancing spectacle and entertainment. Despite concerns raised by some stakeholders, he emphasizes the importance of maintaining excitement and competitiveness in the sport. In Kazakhstan, the circuit is ready, but some facilities are missing. The Kazakhstan organization is collaborating closely with us. As for Balaton, it's not currently under consideration. It took time to align our proposals with those of other manufacturers. We had to reach an agreement that satisfies everyone to some extent. The MS may propose changes, and we responded. We believe it's time to implement stricter regulations for the benefit of the sport. Sprint races have been successful, but we must address concerns. Contractual terms will likely evolve to reflect changes in the sport. As Paleta told by Mundo Deportivo. Carmelo Espeleta's insights shed light on the complexities and challenges of managing MotoGP, from circuit development to regulatory changes and event formats. As the sport continues to evolve, Espeleta's leadership ensures a balance between tradition and innovation, shaping an exciting future for MotoGP. Despite the hype surrounding Marc Marquez's transition to Ducati, it's Fabio Di Gianantonio who has quickly adapted to the GP23. Simon Crafar, an ex-racer and broadcaster, highlights Di Gianantonio's impressive performance, noting his swift acclimatization and impressive lap times during testing in both Sepping and Qatar. Crafar sheds light on the unpredictable nature of preseason testing cautioning against drawing definitive conclusions based solely on testing performances. While Di Antonio's proficiency is commendable, the true test awaits at the first race of the season, where conditions and competition dynamics will differ. 
I have to say Dig Gia has clicked the quickest and been the most comfortable. He has found a comfortable setting and made good lap time the quickest. Every year, we think we've got a good idea. All of them look good that sounds boring but it's true, Kafar told MotoGP.com. Dijin Antonio's journey from Grezzini to VR46 and his seamless transition to the GP23 exemplify his adaptability and potential. His revelation about the bike's compatibility with his riding style underscores the significance of finding synergy between rider and machine for optimal performance. Honestly, it's everything better from my side, Digia told. While Marquez's adjustment to the Ducati remains a focal point, Dijin Antonio's standout performance highlights the depth of talent in the MotoGP field. Marquez's journey, alongside other riders, adds intrigue to the upcoming season as fans anticipate how each contender will fare on race day. As preseason testing draws to a close, Fabio Dijin Antonio's impressive display on the Ducati GP23 has captured attention and raised expectations for the upcoming MotoGP season. While Marc Marquez's transition remains a key storyline, Dijin Antonio's emergence as a frontrunner adds further excitement and anticipation to the championship battle. With the season opener fast approaching, the stage is set for a thrilling contest on the track. Ducati's dominance during preseason testing has set off alarm bells among their rivals. Led by Francesco Bagnaia, Ducati riders have showcased formidable pace, consistently topping the timesheets and breaking lap records. Simon Crafar, a seasoned observer, emphasizes the flawless execution of Ducati's testing program, highlighting their meticulous preparation and impressive performance. The feedback from Ducati riders further reinforces their dominance, with praise for the GP23 and GP24 machines. Riders express satisfaction with the bike's performance, signaling Ducati's comprehensive understanding and optimization of their equipment for the upcoming season. Crafar issues a stark warning about Ducati's formidable presence on the grid, emphasizing their readiness and potential threat to competitors. Despite their success, Ducati remains vigilant, acknowledging the ever-changing nature of track conditions and the need for continuous refinement. I would say it's gone pretty much perfect, from their point of view. Everything they have tested has worked. Ducati look really dangerous. They are in an awesome position, Crafar told MotoGP.com. Marc Marquez's addition to the Ducati lineup adds another layer of complexity for rival teams. With Ducati's already formidable lineup bolstered by Marquez's talent and experience, the challenge becomes even greater for Aprilia, KTM, Honda, and Yamaha as they seek to contend with the Ducati juggernaut. As Ducati emerges as the frontrunner in preseason testing, the rest of the MotoGP field faces an uphill battle to challenge their supremacy. With a potent combination of speed, reliability, and talent, Ducati's dominance casts a shadow over the upcoming season, leaving rivals scrambling for solutions. As the anticipation builds for the season opener, the stage is set for a thrilling battle for supremacy on the track. Yamaha entered the preseason with hopes of narrowing the gap to their competitors, particularly the dominant Ducatis. However, Marigali admits to being taken aback by the significant strides made by their rivals, highlighting the unexpected nature of their development. Despite Yamaha's efforts to address their qualifying pace, Fabio Cordero continues to face challenges entering Q2. Marigali acknowledges the persistent issues in this area, emphasizing the need for improvement to capitalize on the benefits of starting from the front. Honestly, I did not expect that the competitors would make this big step. The pace is not bad, but the gap during the time attacks is still important. It's the point where we should focus all of the energy that we have. Marigali told by Crash. Despite the challenges, Yamaha's new engine shows promise, with both Cordero and Alex Rins demonstrating competitive top speeds during testing. Rins praises Yamaha's improvements, particularly in enhancing straight-line performance, highlighting the progress made over the winter break. I think Yamaha has improved the engine, 
They did a good job during the winter break, Alex Rins told. Cordero remains optimistic about finding solutions during the season, acknowledging the distance to the top but expressing positivity about the progress made. With a focus on addressing qualifying performance and building upon engine improvements, Yamaha aims to close the gap to their rivals as the season progresses. We have a lot of work to do. Hopefully we can find a solution during the season. Quote from Fabio Cordero. Yamaha's candid assessment reflects the challenges they face as they gear up for the 2024 MotoGP season. While surprised by their competitors' progress, Yamaha remains determined to overcome obstacles and improve their performance on the track. With a focus on addressing qualifying struggles and leveraging engine improvements, Yamaha aims to narrow the gap and compete at the highest level in the upcoming season. Thanks for watching ZNGP today. See you in the next video.